Good morning, Pastor Richard here with First Baptist Church, Regina. Just wanted to take a moment to encourage you uh, this morning in your continued walk uh, with the Lord. Uh, to let you know during this uh, season and time where we aren't able to physically uh, get together as a church body, uh, that we're thinking of you, uh, or we're here for you, uh, although that might look a little bit different uh, now than it has in the past. And uh, we just want to make ourselves available uh, the best we can uh, to meet uh, needs, uh, to share uh, God's love uh, with you uh, and uh, to you. And uh, so keep an eye, uh, eye on our website, on our Facebook page for continued updates at uh, First Baptist Church uh, Regina. And uh, there there's, uh, will be uh, places you can connect online, uh, including for Sunday mornings, uh, our Learning for Life class, uh, and other uh, things that uh, might be coming as well. And uh, so be encouraged uh, during this season. I know you're being prayed for and uh, know that uh, uh, we're, we're available. I want to encourage us during this time to uh, take the time uh, to make sure that we are connecting uh, with one another. Uh, to make sure that we're reaching out uh, to those in our uh, church family, our brothers and sisters uh, in the Lord. One of the greatest gifts that we have uh, as the people of God uh, is the gift uh, of God's love. Uh, in 1 John uh, chapter 4, uh, in this beautiful epistle of John, we have these words, Herein is love, uh, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent a son to be the uh, sacrifice for our sin. One of the beautiful pictures in scripture of God uh, is his uh, mercy, his abounding love to his people. And so during this season, uh, let, let us be mindful of the wonder uh, of the love of God and that he loves us um, regardless uh, of uh, who we are, of what we have done, uh, herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us. We, we read in the next verse of uh, that epistle in John uh, 4 uh, that uh, due to this, um, because God has so loved us, uh, beloved, ought we not to love one another? So I, again, encourage us during this time to be mindful of the love of God, but also during this time, uh, to be mindful uh, of the love we're called to have uh, for one another. And that love comes out of the place of God first loving us. Within Deuteronomy in chapter 5 and then in chapter 6, we, we get this beautiful picture uh, depicting God's love for us and then our call to respond. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 6, we get the great Shema of the Old Testament. Uh, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one, and you shall love the Lord your God. Um, and the connotation or call is to love God with all of our heart, mind, strength, and soul. Uh, and, and this uh, Shema, this call to love God, is closely connected to the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments. In the first word, uh, in the Hebrew understanding, uh, the first word of the Decalogue uh, is to hear, O Israel, or to recognize, rather, uh, Israel, uh, that I am the Lord your God, who has called you or brought you out of the land of Egypt, who has delivered you from slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. And, and so the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments, begin in the Hebrew Scripture with this word of grace. Uh, I am the Lord your God, who has brought you out of slavery. Follow me. Respond to my love, respond to my grace. Jesus in the New Testament uh, is recorded in John's Gospel chapter 13 as giving us a new commandment. He says, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples, because you have love. For one another. So again, uh, during this season, uh, I want to encourage us uh, to remember uh, 
the love of God for us, how, how dearly and profoundly and deeply God loves you. He knows the struggles that you face during this time, uh, perhaps unprecedented struggles that you face during this time. Uh, he loves you. Scripture notes that every tear we shed uh, is noted, or recorded uh, by God. He's watching our struggle. He's watching our journey during this season with a compassionate heart. So don't forget the love of God. I encourage you to press into the love of God, and to seek ways to love God in response to his love for you. And that might include, or will include, uh, the loving of your brothers and sisters, of your neighbors uh, during this season. So let us remember uh, the love of God, which uh, is beyond uh, any uh, threat which is still as profound and as real as ever. And let us step into that, to take time during the day to reflect on that, to enter into the presence of God, and to connect uh, with the love of God uh, with those around us. So my God's richest blessings be on you uh, as you press in, as you recognize and remember uh, this God who has loved you, who has redeemed you in and through our Lord Jesus Christ, and is guiding you is with you uh, during this season. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen.